What's going on guys? This is JT here and welcome back to episode 30 on the new pay to play account. Don't worry, I saw you guys in the comments talking about JT, this isn't a new pay to play account. It's like, give me a break boys. This account has only been in existence for 31 days and I'm going to call this an account, a new account until we get to 90 days and claim that achievement at least. No doubt about that. So what's going to go down in this video today, we are going to talk about the bazaars first and we also have events. Today we got a lot of stuff to do. We also have Hero Collector, and I'm going to augment all of the heroes and hope they're born with a good enchantment talent. So let's go ahead and start by collecting all the rewards. We did make quite a bit of purchases today, a total of $30 for anybody out there keeping track. Uh, if you guys would like, put the total amount spent in the comments below, and I will pin the comment. That way we can all keep track. So the bazaars that we purchased today on this account. The $99 pack today, would not agree with buying that unless you're like a top, you know, 100 or 200 player and really want to spend the money because all these rewards are going to go way down in value soon to come, right? Especially the Igniting Stones and the Zenna Stones. However, I did buy quite a quite a bit of those on my, uh, my main account, but of course, trying to do big things on that account, right? So that's why I did that. We also got the $50 value pack, which, yeah, not a very big fan of it, to be honest. I mean, it's an okay pack, especially with the level 10, uh, 10 level 9 talent runes and the level 8 insignias. Those are definitely very nice, so I'm not going to completely hate on this, but these new insignias just aren't really that great, and I don't really see that much use for them, and it feels like a waste. Plus, also, the Boogeyman skin's a little bit too pricey right now as well. However, this $20 pack today absolutely loved it, especially for this account, so I went ahead and went with it. Now, we are going to need... All these fine enchantment chests, that's why I was like, all right, yeah, this works out pretty good. I'm about to augment heroes. Let's go ahead and snatch this up. We also get the prime bag threes, which aren't the worst prime bags. I mean, a chance at level nine talent runes can't go wrong with that. And you get two insignias that I don't even have yet on this account. Maybe I think I have, actually, I might have both of them, but I'm using them right now. So I could use more. Wait, what event has ended? Something just ended. Oh, well, rip. My event over here in the far left, the little bags from the bazaar ended because it only gave me like 10 minutes to purchase them. So then, yeah, you also get the castle chest ones and fours, which the fours are really nice because I can use sacred light and the holy pack on this account. So not bad. The other bazaars, yeah, not that great. I really only like that $20 pack today for this account. No doubt about it. So let's go ahead and collect all the rewards. The other pack that I did buy was a $10 pack. And it came with the 15 red crystals, the 1500 blue crystals, and also the 50 Zenith stones, along with the two prime bag fours. So yeah, let's go ahead and collect all that stuff. And let's get into the events and get the events over with. We only got like a little bit of events. And then we'll open up the rewards and start augmenting heroes. We got three chances. What do we got? We got Ronin. Nice to see Ronins. I actually like Ronin. Oh, Professor Ribbit. That's actually a new hero. I don't have Professor Ribbit. And I was looking at what heroes I was missing. Professor uh, Professor Ribbit is one of the heroes I'm missing. Also, Skull Knight. I was surprised. I'm like, I don't have a Skull Knight yet on this account. Another Ronin. We'll take that. What else do we got? Give me some pets. We got another Professor Ribbit. So two Professor Ribbits at the same time. All right. So for augmenting heroes, just so you guys know, let's go ahead and quickly look at Hero Collector because I am going to be doing this. I don't really know how many gems I'm going to roll, but I do want Lazu on this account. That'd be pretty big. Also, Michael would be nice too for 100,000 fame plus the Castle Chest 4. It's not bad. I'm going to be doing Hero Collector on my main account as well. So be on the lookout for that. So before we get into the armory, I think I might as well go ahead and purchase a little bit of these. What do we got? We got 16. Whoa, not that many. We got 16 total. We'll buy 22 more. That seems about right and seems like that's going to be more than enough. We're definitely going to need O tablets as well. No doubt about that. I'll go ahead and purchase 70. Actually, we'll get a little bit more just, just to be safe so we don't have to deal with buying any more of these. We'll go ahead and get 100,000 worth of O tablets as well. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else yet I wanted to show. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into the army. I did go ahead and get all these heroes to 20 of 20 just because it takes so much time. I'll go ahead and show you guys what else I did. I went ahead and raided and got all my heroes to 10-star single Evo as well. So all these bad boys are straight chilling. So let's go ahead and get into the armory. Come on, boys. Be born with something good. Shouldn't take too long. How much might are we going to gain? I'm at 140,700 might. From each augment, we're going to gain, it looks like, 171. Once I augment every single one, then I'll go ahead and... Then we'll go ahead and see what they're born with. Oh, wow. I guess I probably should have just augmented all these off videos because it's just kind of boring sitting here augmenting. 
I don't know. What do I got? Like 28 heroes? Or, or no, I got more than that. I got 32 heroes, I believe. I'm just going to use the O stones for every single hero. Now, if you're on a free-to-play account or a, uh, a small pay-to-play account, you're definitely not going to use fame if you have backup heroes, right? The only reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to have an overload of fame on this account and honestly could care less about fame and would rather have the backup heroes. So that's why I'm augmenting Jeroel. If there's a hero like a Spirit and I have 13 backups, of course I'm obviously going to use the backup of Spirits. I'm even going to use the backup Skull Knights. Anything that comes from a Prime 3, I'm going to go ahead and use the heroes and not waste the fame, obviously, because... I'm going to be getting a ton of those heroes extra, right? Or Frankenstein. Yeah, we don't really care. 100. Wait, some heroes are worth more than others with the uh, 153. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't realize that. What's the point of having it like that, I wonder? Some heroes are 150. Fuck, what's Mectessa going to be worth? Mectessa's worth 182? Okay, I wonder what makes these heroes worth some worth more, some worth less. I'm curious about that. We got 170 on Rockno. What's Gunslinger going to be worth? We got 229. That's the most I think we've seen. Let's see what Ronin's worth. Yeah, I'm going to use O tablets for Ronin as well. Just because, who knows, I might try to take over rank 1 on iOS. And if I do try to do that, I'm going to need a lot. Oh, I know why. They're born with higher might because the traits are higher, higher level. All right, the traits in the enchantment town. I'm like, what? I was confused at first, but now I understand. That makes sense. Do you guys think anything good's going to be born with anything? Like, uh, let's say a 5 of 5 victory lunge or a 5 of 5 malaise. Anything useful as far as enchantment talents? I can't wait to see. Hope. Oh, wait. No. Ooh, I do not want to. I do not want to use that. I would like to use Trixies. Very nice. All right. What do we got next? Demo Gorgon. We got to be almost done, right? We got Grimfiend, my man. Using 10 O tablets for Grimfiend. That's a big old rip. But, like I said, doesn't really matter no more. All right, we got Dread Drake. We got Ares. We don't have any backup Ares. Ten Oak Tablets for Ares. That's a big old rip. We don't even have any backup Cupids. Ten more Oak Tablets for Cupid. Minnow Tire. Yes, we will go ahead and use the ten Oak Tablets for Minnow as well. Pumpkin Dukes. We got some backups. Very nice. We'll go ahead and use the PDs. Oak tablets for spirit mage and that's a wrap everything is augmenting so augmented so we are at what are we at 146,000 might I don't even remember what we were at I think that's a total of 6,000 might right all right let's see what we're born with we got one of five blinding blow that's terrible we got forest ward one of five victory lunch come on give me some five of five action baby all this one of five junk goodness gracious nothing but one of fives come on one of five cursed battlefield we haven't got oh First Battlefield 4-5 on Anubis isn't that bad. Heartbreaker 5-5 five five Forest War. That's our first 5-5, five five, but that's absolutely trash on Heartbreaker. Energy Sap on Revenant isn't that bad, but still not what we're looking for. Wow, we literally got nothing good out of all this so far. Feels freaking bad, man. Let's roll in our Minnow right quick and go ahead and snatch him up something good. We got six of these cards. What do we got? Come on. 4-5 Binding Blow. That's junk. How about... Oh, I should have put that energy sap on him. That's okay, though, because I'm about to get a 5 of 5 victory lunge right. Shoot! Silencing shot. I think I'm pretty much going to skip over everything that's not a 5 of 5. Where do we want this silencing shot at? I'm not going to roll any more of these. I'm going to go ahead and stop there. And then we'll get into Hero Collector. But... Where do I want to put this silencing shot? Where's the best place for silencing shot? If you just have a brand new account... You know, any, any, you got all the options available. Probably Ares, right? I like Silence and Shot on Ares. Giving him that extra range, especially for Lost Battlefields. Probably the best choice. Plus, it also gives him an extra silence. I also like Silence and Shot on quite a few of these heroes, to be honest. Like Storm, I like it on. I like it on Athene. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw this on Ares because that's like... If, if I have to choose, like, what talent I want to put on Ares for enchantment... The option, I mean, the option is silencing shot. So, I mean, that's a guarantee. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw that on Ares for now. And let's go ahead and get into Hero Collector and quickly run over it. So, we got Santa Boom for a Sasquatch. Wow. So, we have two options to get 100,000 fame today. Santa Boom's one of the options and also Michael's one of the options. Santa Boom comes with Sasquatch as well. But mainly, we're looking for Lazo. I think I'm going to roll a total of like, I don't know, 10,000 gems. Lazo. Show up, my friend. Come on, give me that Lazo one time for this new account. Just put them on the board. All right, let's get rid of the eggs. Get rid of all those eggs and snatch up Lazo. 
Come on, Lazu. First legend, make it Lazu one time. Yeah, crystal oozes everywhere. No legends? Gelatinous champion, still no legends. Come on. Phantom King is the first legend. That's not what we're looking for, but we'll take it, I suppose. We got a creation 01. Come on, baby. Give us Lazu. Ghoulam. Lazulix, show up! Ah! Hill Giant, we got about 5,000 gems left to roll. Come on, Lazu me up. Oh my gosh, feels bad, man. Come on, Lazu. Oh, this is why I don't want to roll heroes on this account. I'm just wasting gems over and over and over. Come on, give me Lazu, baby. Show up! No. Alright, next legend we're stopping. Grim Fiend. Should I go one more legend? We got 39,000 gems. Yeah, we should. We should go one more legend. Let me see. Does this... We got this for collect. We didn't get anything else. All right, here comes Lazu right here. Next legend is Lazu right here. 450. Yes, we'll increase the slots and we'll get Lazu. And we'll get Lazu right here. Come on. End it with a 450. Legend. Oh my gosh. How many Latinist champions do I got so far? Four? All right, that's bad. All right, come on. Lazu. Lazu. Oh my gosh, that's about blues and greens and junk. Feels bad. Come on, Lazu. Oh my gosh, really no legends. IGG's like, yeah, sorry, brand new pay-to-play account. Waste all your gems, bud. No legends today, boys. Grim Fiend it is. Wow, three blues again. We ended it with a ninja. I'm not rolling any more gems. I got 33,000 gems left. I'm going to need to save all these gems for traits. No doubt. I mean, holy smokes, I got a lot of traits to roll. <laughs> it's going to be like a, a year-long video whenever I roll traits. Let's go ahead and roll a couple more enchantment talents just to see if we can get a couple of good talents on some of these heroes. We got 5 of 5 Sanctified Blast, which honestly I don't really like that much. I'm going to be rolling over that sooner than later, so let's keep on going. We got 4 of 5 Sanctified Blast. Don't really care about that. The only 4 5s I think, honestly, that I want to even keep are going to be Victory Lunge, maybe Silencing Shot. I know I rolled over the 4 of 5 Silencing Shot. That's because I wanted to... Just roll some talents because mainly I want five of five talents. I'm not even going to lie. Four or five doesn't get the job done in my opinion. Divine Templar, that's useless. Death Sentence is useless. Come on, give me some good stuff. Five of five Death Sentence. All right, we'll throw this somewhere just to have it used. I guess like maybe Michael. I don't really know. Don't really care about Death Sentence. Bad, bad enchantment talent in my opinion. Mage, we don't need you. Come on, where's the Victory Lunge? That's what I'm looking for. The Energy Saps, the Victory Lunge, the good stuff. Four or five sanctified blast. More death sentence junk. Wow, divine templar. No good. We got forest ward. More trash. Come on now. Yes, victory lunge. It is a four or five. Well, we're gonna put the victory lunge. I suppose on my man Anubis to start, right? Or actually, you know what? I'll keep this cursed battlefield until we beat all the dungeons with Anubis, just because. It's pretty useful, and we can use um, Victory Lunge on pretty much every single hero. Suppose we'll throw it on my man Boogeyman at first. Pretty much his best talent. The more damage for Boogeyman, the better. No doubt about that. What else do we got coming? 5 of 5 Energy Sap. Okay, we'll take that. What does Energy Sap do again? It uh, reduces a target's attack for 5 seconds. So let's see here. What's the best choice for Energy Sap? I would say Mahatma is a decent choice for Energy Sap. We also got Dove Keeper, who is an option as well, but do I want Victory Lunge on Dove Keeper? I could just go with Energy Sap, I suppose, because Dove Keeper can't really reflect all the damage anyway because she only takes in a certain amount of damage. What are our other options for Energy Sap? Ronin's an option for Energy Sap as well. Let's see. Obviously, Anubis is an option. Trixie Treat's an option. My man, Demo Gorgon's definitely an option. We got a lot of options here. We even got Minnow, but I definitely want Victory Lunge on Minnow. So I think I'm just going to go with Energy Sap. Ugh. I guess. Decisions, decisions, boys. I guess Dove Keeper. I mean, increases attack by 20%. Each attack reduces target's attack by 5%. The thing is, is you don't really care about target's attack being reduced if it's like a one on one situation with Dove Keeper, right? So that's why I'm kind of like holding back, like, man. Eh. Put this on Dove. And then I'm not really going to be using Ronin that much. I could go with Lil Nick, I suppose. I mean, Lil Nick would be decent. Reduces target's attack on Lil Nick. We don't really care about that. I'd rather go Victory Lunge on Nick. That's the thing. Most heroes, you'd rather have Victory Lunge than Energy Sap. But 
on a brand new account like this, it's not a waste to have energy sap. Sorry, I'm taking so long on this one freaking decision. Rip. I guess I'm going to go with Mahatma just because Mahatma attacks insanely fast. You know what I mean? It reduces the target's attack by 5% for 9 seconds. Does that stack? I can't remember if energy sap energy sap stacks or not. Either way, Mahatma is going to be a solid choice overall. So I'm just going to go Mahatma on the energy sap. 140 might for that one level 5 enchantment talent. That is kind of crazy. We've got a 4 or 5 mage, which is junk. I guess I should just put these 4 or 5s on all the uh, nonsense talents just for might. Although I don't really care about might. And the 5 or 5 should be coming through sooner than later, right? Come on, baby. Give us the 5 of 5 love. Curse Battlefield. That is junk. Silencing shot. 4 or 5. Actually, let's go ahead and put the silencing shot somewhere. Where do we want that? Extra range. I'm thinking... Let's go with Storm. I like Storm with silencing shot, no doubt. I'll just roll 17 more fine enchantments and then we'll call it a day for this. I do like Malace on my man Ashura for Lost Battlefield it is absolutely beast of a talent we got 5 of 5 Blade Knight what else do we got we got 4 of 5 Malace let's go ahead and throw this on a hero as well that we like I think maybe Commodore would be decent with Malace only for Lost Battlefield though I think I want more damage type for Commodore for because I'm going to be using her for dungeons I believe so let's see Malace we'll go ahead and throw this on Skelly it ain't like too terrible for Skelly I like Malace on Skelly to be honest with you Got four or five. I'll go ahead and throw this here. Junk. Got some more four or five junk. Whoops, I didn't mean to replace that. Sorry, uh, sorry, Revenant. My bad, buddy. Luckily, it was replacing a four or five talent. <laughs> Ten more. We got a four or five Blade Knight. That is junk as well. We're almost going to get to 150,000 might just from using these enchantment talents. Five or five trash. We don't care about that anymore. Come on now. 4 or 5 Energy Sap. Not what we're looking for. Come on, baby. 4 or 5 Sanctified Blast. More junk. How about a good talent? Another 5 or 5 Energy Sap. Okay. So we're seeing some 5 or 5 Energy Sap action. We could put that on Walla Walla. But honestly, I was thinking about going Malaise on my Walla as well. So who do we want more damage on? I think I might just go ahead and put this on Commodore. The 50% damage... Do we need Commodore reflecting more damage? I suppose so. I mean, Victory Lunge is just so good on so many of these heroes. But, can't really get greedy and put Victory Lunge on every single thing, right? Where, do, where can we go with this Energy Sap? I think maybe Skelly's an option, although I do like Malace on Skelly as well. Let's go ahead and throw it on Ronin. I like Energy Sap on Ronin, so yeah, we'll go ahead and throw it there. All right, we got four more of these. We got Blade Knight. Come on, something good, baby. Curse Battlefield. Two more for five of five Malaysia. All right, we'll definitely take that. It is a very good talent for Lost Battlefield, especially. Where do we want to go with our first five of five Malaysia? Probably my man Ashura, right? That is my favorite talent for Ashura. I do like it on Serena as well. Any healer Malaysia is going to be really good on. So yeah, I think I might actually go with Serena or Ghulam. Probably Serena. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw this on Serena. Malaise is definitely super good for Serena, especially for pretty much every game mode. That's going to be good. And last but not least, we got four or five death sentence. All right, so that pretty much does it. At least we got all the basics going down in the armory. We haven't obviously rolled any traits yet, so we will be getting to that very soon. We almost we got 149,000 total might, which is pretty beast mode. I think we gained almost 10,000 might total just from enchantment talents today and augmentation on these heroes. So soon to come on this account, we're gonna have to be we're gonna be rolling traits on all these heroes. What I'm probably gonna do, honestly is I guess I'll have to record it because I'm going to be spending gems and I'm guessing you guys are going to want to see it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys want to see? Do you want me to make a video rolling all these traits? Because honestly, it's going to be like an hour long video. Maybe I could live stream it, I guess. Or yeah, I guess I could live stream it and then shorten it up and then make a video showing what I went with on each hero. That'd probably be the smartest idea. Or just make an hour long video. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas.